This tutorial is about variable declaration. Variables can be used to store any type of data, for example, scalars, vectors, matrices, and strings. To declare a variable, simply type the variable name, followed by the equal sign, followed by the value. To store a scalar, you can type something like x equals 5. Now, if you use x anywhere in your code, it will get replaced by the value 5. For example, if we type x plus 7, we'll get 12. We can also store the results of such computations in another variable. For example, if we write y equals x plus 4, y now has the value 9. To store a vector or a matrix, we enclose the values in brackets. Entries in the same row are separated by either spaces or commas. To start a new row, use a semicolon. For example, let's say we have b equals open bracket 1 space 3 space 2. Close the bracket, and now we have a row vector of the values 1, 3, 2. It's a row vector because the entries are separated by spaces. On the other hand, if we have w equals open bracket again, 1 semicolon 3 semicolon 2, and we close it, this forms the same thing but in a column vector. Because the entries are separated by semicolons, each one starting a new line. We can use this to create matrices. For example, we can have a equals, again open with a bracket, 1 space 4 space 5 semicolon, 2, space 5, space 3. Close it, and this creates a 2 by 3 matrix. The first three entries are separated by spaces, so they are on the same line. Then we have a semicolon, which creates a new row, and then three more entries separated by spaces. You have to be careful to keep the dimensions consistent, though. For example, if you try to make a matrix with three entries in the first row and two in the second, you will get an error. For example, if we take b equals 1 space 4 space 5 semicolon 2 space 5, produce an error because we tried to put three entries in the first row and only two in the second. Another very useful way to declare a vector is by using the colon operator. The format of this is variable name equals start colon increment colon end where start is the first value of the vector end is the last and increment is the value you're incrementing by for example a equals 1 colon 2 colon 15 creates a vector starting at 1 incrementing by 2's and ending at 15 if we tried b equals 4 colon 3 colon 8, this will produce the vector 4, 7. Notice that the end value does not have to be part of the vector. The vector simply can't have values greater than it. One useful detail about the colon operator is that if you leave out the increment, it defaults to 1. For example, c equals 1 colon 5 creates a vector going by 1's from 1 to 5. One more important type of variable you can declare is a string. A string is basically a vector of individual characters. A string is enclosed in single quotes. For example, s equals, open with a single quote, MATLAB is awesome, close with a single quote, and the whole thing turns purple to indicate that it is a valid string, and the whole sentence gets stored in the variable s. Altogether, variables are very useful because of how you can manipulate them and use them in your programs without having to constantly retype the scalar, vector, matrix, or string you are trying to use.